Hi, I'm Greg over at One of Collectibles, and today we're going to be having a look at Pinocchio Vampire Slayer. This is a side story to the graphic novel Pinocchio Vampire Slayer, and it follows Pinocchio and his group of living puppets as they travel to a small zoo to fight a highly intelligent vampire gorilla and the vampire zookeeper. I found it a kind of uh, a predictable read. You could kind of take a guess at where things were going from the start. Characters were kind of shouting one-liners for most of it, everyone sounding trying to sound witty all the time. Sometimes they succeeded, sometimes didn't. Sometimes it was funny. Most of the times I didn't think it was too funny. And the gimmick of Pinocchio telling a lie to grow his nose and then break it off as a steak, it was cute at first, but not being familiar with the original graphic novel, Pinocchio Vampire Slayer, it got old after the third time in two pages. Overall, it was pretty lighthearted, which I didn't expect at all from the title. And I did enjoy the characters and their interactions. I thought the intelligent vampire gorilla was interesting and entertaining. And in the end, I thought, on the whole, it was a pretty fun read. So give it a try if you're looking for something different from the usual stuff. And now it's time for the rapid fire pull list. Batman Europa number two, Squadron Supreme number one, Justice League number 46, the Dark Side War Part 6, The Star Wars Darth Vader Annual, Claws Number 2. You can get all these titles and more at 1UP Collectibles or at 1upcollectibles.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to the channel below.